<laughs> oh, gall dang. Check out these gorgeous berries. These orangish yellow to red berries are about as iconic in Cascadia as the salmon themselves. Hence the name, salmon berries. Mmm. Now these gorgeous shrubs can grow up to four meters tall, often in thick brambles, and as members of the rose family, they're characterized by tiny little thorns on all of their stalks. Their leaves grow in leaflets of three, with the middle one being the largest, with heavily serrated edges and sharply toothed, although the leaves themselves are fairly soft. In the springtime, they form these gorgeous pinkish purple little flowers that when fertilized, ripen into salmon berries like all these delicious ones here. Now the fruit of salmon berries themselves start out a really light yellow, maturing into a deep orange or even vibrant red, often resembling salmon roe, you know, hence their name, salmon berries. Now the fruit themselves, the structure is really similar to raspberry, where it's a cluster of, of berries that kind of fall off a central core. And they're known for being a bit seedy, but they are absolutely delicious. Mm. The red ones are especially delicious. Not only are salmon berries a coveted food source for bears and birds, but humans alike, with many indigenous nations in the area utilizing these berries as a food source since time immemorial. I mean, whether they were collected fresh and eaten on site, dried into fruit cakes for a later date, or mixed into jellies with eulichon grease, or candlefish grease, or even salmon roe themselves, these berries have numerous uses, and they're all very delicious. So as the saying goes, if a bear is hungry, he'll eat. Did I mention that salmon berries are exceptionally delicious? Oh yeah. Oh dang, what a beauty. If you're enjoying these videos, feel free to keep on watching, subscribe to my channel, or help support their production by becoming a patron at the Patreon page below. I've got all sorts of sweet perks there, as well as stickers and merch available at nerdyaboutnature.com. Because nature, it's pretty neat, you know? The more you know about it, the more fun you're going to have next time you're out there enjoying it. God, there's just so much green, you know? I've never seen this much green before.